How's it going, everyone? While Hades 2 won't be available on PlayStation 5 anytime in the near future, it is hitting early access here very shortly uh, on Steam. And if you have a remotely decent PC, you'll want to know that the technical test signups are live right now. This is going to be big, and it'll give you an opportunity to try out the early portion of the game. Now, the, the signups are live. No guarantee that you'll get in. We'll talk all about it, but obviously, Hades 1 is a beloved game that uh, a lot of you guys enjoyed, and Hades 2 now on the horizon, and you can get an early taste of it. The Playtest for Hades 2. Signups for that are live right now. Hades 2 is going to be one of the biggest game releases when it comes out. This is a game that I imagine it's going to have a lot of hype and anticipation. And we'll talk a little bit about that after we go over their official post about the playtest. We're getting close to launching Hades 2 in early access. As noted in our latest de uh, development update, a key step prior to that is our Hades 2 technical test, which we plan to begin shortly. About the Hades 2 technical test, we're conducting the Hades 2 technical test prior to our early access launch to help us find and solve any technical issues we might have missed thus far. To ensure anyone who tries Hades 2 in early access can have a smooth play experience from the start, the technical test contains much less content than what's in store for early access and may be available only to a relatively small subset of players who express interest in uh, participating. We are using Steam Playtest to run the Hades 2 technical test. If you'd like to be considered for participation, you can sign up right now simply by clicking Request Access on our Steam page. Obviously, log into your Steam account. This is live right via the Steam client. Look up Hades 2 and uh, scroll down a little bit and you can request access. It's very, very simple. Who gets to participate? A subset of players who request access will be invited to participate via an email from Steam with download instructions. We expect to start with a small player population, then grow it over time. So even if you aren't invited to the technical test right away, you may still be invited later. Our process boils down to invite some players, fix any problems they run into, invite more players, and so on. Once we sufficiently... Once we're sufficiently confident that things are stable, we'll wind down the technical test and then launch the game in early access relatively soon after. As the purpose of the technical test is to test the game with a relatively small audience, we may not be able to honor individual requests to participate. We will do our best to conduct the technical test as expeditiously as possible, then launch in early access, at which point the game will be available for anyone to purchase and play. Technical test duration, the nature of the test is such that we don't know exactly how it, long it'll run for, though our estimate is longer than a week, shorter than a month. We likewise don't know exactly when we'll launch Hades 2 in early access, since that will depend on how long we end up running the technical test. Technical test system requirements, it's going to be a very, very uh, simple game to run. Don't worry about it. It will be working on the Steam Deck, so uh, you'll be able to play it on there. Uh, technical test contents. The technical test contains the first major area of the game and other early game characters, systems, and contents. If you played the original game, imagine a version where you couldn't get past Tartarus even if you vanquished its guardian. Even if you end up clearing the first major area a number of times, the game will gently suggest that you discontinue play as early access shouldn't be far behind. Note that due to the structural differences with the early access version of the game, save data will not be transferring to the full game. How technical test participants can help just play. If you encounter crashes or other technical issues, the game will provide instruction on how to report those to us. Thank you for your interest in Hades 2 and the technical test. It's important to us to start our forthcoming early access as well as uh, with as few technical issues as possible so that focus can be on getting your feedback on the game itself. We're very excited to share the game with you soon and appreciate your patience and support as we prepare. Okay, so that is everything with the technical test. You can sign up right now. And Hades 2, again, we don't have an official date, but it should be out in the relative near future after this playtest wraps up. I foresee Hades 2, even in the early access period, to be an absolutely gargantuan release. Now, Hades 1 isn't a game that I got into as much as some other people, but even me playing that game for the length of time that I did, I had a great time with it. It's just I didn't sink, you know, over 100 hours into it, but man, from stylish presentation as an action roguelite, the game was fantastic, and just reception-wise, 229,000 reviews, 98% positive. Like, Hades is one of those games that's absolutely beloved, and some people would have given it 2020 Game of the Year, a 93 on Metacritic. The reception to the game was absolutely staggering that even if this is just an early access release, I foresee it being a juggernaut of a release. I couldn't even throw a dart at the wall and uh, estimate a concurrent player count, but... 
you know, to be conservative, I'll say it cracks, I don't know, three to 400k? Is that too much, too little? I don't know. You guys let me know. I'm actually curious, what do you think Hades 2 will peak at? I feel like 300 to 400k early access uh, is doable. Maybe, you know, I'm just a little, my mind's a little bit warped from the Helldivers 2s of the world and the PAL worlds recently that, you know, three to 400k concurrent for an early access title is a gargantuan number to hit. But based on the reception for Hades 1, what did Hades 1 peak at? Obviously, Hades 1 was a Epic Games exclusive for a while as well, but I'm actually curious what was the concurrent player count uh, for Hades 1. 37,000 all-time peak 40 years ago. So maybe I'm pushing it a little bit too far with Hades 2, but man, I foresee it being a big release. And I feel like Hades 1 was one of those games that just garnered a lot of interest over time. It's not one that came out and just lit the world on fire. I just feel like over time, more and more people checked it out. And you did have that Epic Game Store element to it. I don't know. We'll see. It's hard to predict these things. I'm always, I, I'm seemingly always so wrong. Like, I knew that Pal World was going to be big, but I couldn't imagine it was going to be as big as it was. And I, and at, a certain point, I thought Helldivers 2 was gonna be successful, but I didn't know it was gonna be as big as it was. I feel like Hades 2 is gonna be big, but we'll see. Usually, you get a pretty good idea of, like, the week of or week or two before release, so we'll see how that ultimately turns out. But Hades 2 is going to be a massive, massive release, um, and even if it doesn't kill it in early access, early access is the period where they're gonna make a lot of refinements and updates to the game, and so far, the gameplay we've seen looks fantastic. And it's coming from Supergiant Games, one of the most consistent game studios on the planet where they've just been dropping great game after great game. And while Hades certainly took them to another level in terms of popularity, notoriety, and how much people know them, um, they've been doing great games for a long time. Like, I remember playing Bastion right when it came out, and that game was fantastic. Then you had Transistor in 2014. That game was awesome. Pyre, I didn't get as into, but that was still a pretty solid RPG. And then after that, we had Hades. Like, they've been super super consistent and this is the first time that they are doing a direct sequel to one of their games so kind of interesting in that regard i think they saw the interest level in hades and really doing something after a successful juggernaut like hades was uh maybe a little bit uh you know not the wisest idea from a commercial standpoint but at this point i feel like super giant games is well known enough that if they decided to do a complete new ip people would be interested in that you know i would love to see them do a game in the style of bastion or something like that like could you imagine something like a bastion too i don't really know how they made that make that work at this point but i feel like if they just randomly announced bastion Bastion 2, for example, people would be so excited for it. Even if it was a totally new story, new characters, everything like that, people would just get excited just based on name. And it's super giant games. Like, that is the... That is the benefit of when you establish so much goodwill with your consumer that you can pretty much announce anything, even if it wasn't Hades 2. Hades 2 is inherently going to have a lot of interest, but if Supergiant Games at this point announces anything, people are going to be interested in it because Supergiant Games has shown that track record. They've built that goodwill. They have the trust. The imperative word there, trust, where so many publishers and developers over the last few years have eroded and destroyed that trust and goodwill from the consumer. Supergiant Games is one of the many studios that have also developed it, built it, retained it. I look at an arrowhead, they've done that very well as well. But we'll see how everything turns out for Hades 2. The technical test sign-up is live right now. Go check that out. Sign up for it. And again, if you aren't a big PC gamer, if you're just playing mostly on consoles and you're watching this video... Remember that this game is super, super easy to run. So if you can get like a decent laptop or, you know, anything like that, if you got, uh, I, you know, if I say you have a deck, you're probably somewhat into PC gaming, but you get the idea. It's not super difficult to run. So most of you guys should be able to run it if you have somewhat of a recent uh, PC. But that'll do it for me. Again, guys, it's going to be one of the bigger game releases uh, of the year. I don't know if it's going to come out of early access this year. I imagine the early access period is going to be lengthy, potentially a year. So uh, I could see this being a 2025 game, but whenever it comes out, it's going to be massive, and I think it's going to do very, very well. But sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.